Youth from Bodo community in Gokana, local government area of River State, have called for an improved security situation in the community and the state at large. They've also called for a sustainable social, economic, and cultural development in their community. At a forum, Tight Peace Building Forum, I beg your pardon, at a forum, the youth tagged the gathering reconciling the young generation for a prosperous future. Speaking at a press conference in Port Hackett after the end of a six-day civil retreat, the resolutions by the youths were read by the spokesperson for Bordeaux Council, George Burabari. The spokesman said both the youths have resolved to align with the local authority and the security agencies to ensure a gun-free society through mopping out of arms, light weapons and other substances which are their major challenges. We, the youths of Bodo City, forthwith adopt wholly and entirely a non-violent but civil-friendly space for all players in the land to ensure a gun-free society. Bodo shall always remain one of the most visitors-friendly communities in the Niger Delta. Hence, we passionately invite technocrats and innovators to our land in order to harness our youth's skilled potential population. On his part, the facilitator of the Peace Resolution Summit, Reverend Father Abel Agbulu, advised the youths to stick to the resolutions. Some of them maintained that there is need for every community to embrace peace. I got wind of a likely disruption of the peace and then bring them all out, you know, the different faction of the youth, to a six days camping and teach them alternative means of resolving crisis and conflict. Anyway, not only just to stop the conflict, but to kind of broaden their vision and see what can come out from the agitations, what they're agitating about, educate them about the, the factors they're angry about, show them the positive horizon that they can also harness from those things. You know? I thank God Almighty for a deal like this, for a successful retreat for peace to return back in Bodo City. Now I'm, I'm calling on all many sons and daughters of Bodo City to join hand because it is a corrective responsibility and all hands must be on deck to make peace return to Bodo. In every society in Niger Delta, we experience what we call courtism. But we find out that most of the people involved in courtism activities are ignorant of what they've gotten themselves into. But I believe with the little we've learned from the resource men that Father Abel brought to us, I believe with the little sensitization we've gotten, it's going to reduce. Now everyone that really want to be a peaceful, abiding citizen, we key into this new generation, new model for Christ. Reverend Father Abel has always advocated peace in Gokana, where over 500 arm-bearing card group members in Bodo community have surrendered their weapons. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.